guys, welcome to Real French Food. We're gonna do a little bit of a dessert today and doing a low calorie French apple tart is really easy to do. Just modify a couple ingredients and you've got a really great dessert. So I'm actually gonna make our pie crust and instead of using butter like most pie crusts are made with, we're gonna use a little bit of oil and we're gonna do sort of a basic pizza crust minus the yeast. That way you're achieving the same result and you're reducing a lot of your calories too. So we're gonna use two cups of flour to get started. To this, I'm gonna put just one tablespoon of sugar. You don't have to add the sugar, you can use something as an alternative, but you're really just sweetening this dish up. You really want to have a little bit of flavor to it and a little bit of sweetness, just so that it actually is a dessert and it's not pizza in the end. To this as well, we're gonna add about a tablespoon or two if you want to have a little bit more flavor of vanilla. Again, more flavor to our flour. And then I'm gonna add about three quarters of a cup of water. Warm water is fine, cold water, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. To this as well, I'm gonna put in about three tablespoons of canola or a flavorless oil. So with a wooden spoon, I'm gonna mix my batter and what we're looking for is something pliable. We're looking for a batter that you can move with your hands and mold and shape and it's not too sticky. If you find that it is a little sticky, you can add a little bit of flour until you get your right consistency. So it looks like our dough's coming together here. So now I'm gonna just drop my spoon, get rid of this guy and start using your hands. This way you can really see if you've got too sticky of a batter or dough, I should say, or if it's just right. And I think we're gonna be, we're in business here. We've got a pretty decent dough. Slightly sticky, but at the same time, pliable. Really not sticking too much to my hands. So I'm going to take my dough out of the bowl. Move this out of the way here. And I have a little bit extra flour here. I'm just going to lightly dust my surface so that as I'm plying and molding my dough, it doesn't get stuck to it. And with this, I'm just gonna do it all by hand. Now you have quite a large amount of dough here, so you can make one large tart if you'd like, if you have a lot of guests and you wanna just cut it up. I like to do individual pieces, so I'm going to take about a quarter of my dough. And the cool thing that you can do is if you're only using just a little bit like this, you can take the rest of your dough, wrap it up in some saran wrap, put it in a nice tight Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer so that you can make this dessert anytime. It's really kind of fun to have extras. So you're gonna take your dough here and just with your hands, with your fingers, just mold it out, almost as if you were making pizza. This is sort of like a, uh, what the French call a galette. And galette sometimes just is free form, doesn't have any kind of perfect shape. It's just how you like to shape it. So we've got a nice round circle here. I'm gonna put this on my prepared sheet. And then this is not greased or lined with anything other than a little bit of parchment paper. And to this, I'm going to add my toppings with my apples, but first we need to get that cut. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna move this to one side and take our apple and we do want thin slices. You can use a mandolin if you want. Uh, it's really a small uh, piece of, of apple here that you're using, so I, I would recommend that you just use a knife and just um, chop it up. We're gonna core, take the centers out, as you normally would, and then we'll just slice thin slices of our apple. And you really wanna get as many slices as you can. They don't have to be perfect or uniform. You can try as much as you can, but we're not looking for perfection here. We're not trying to make this the most beautiful tart you've ever seen. Probably to fill up our shape here, you'll pretty much use the entire apple. We'll start with half and go from there. Okay, so we have our slices just about good to go. We will take our quasi pizza crust nice sweet crust here, minus the yeast. And we're just gonna layer our thinly sliced apples around the crust. Make as nice of a shape as possible. You wanna try to not see any of your dough underneath. 
And you can really fit in as many slices as you'd like. And then we're going to take our edges and just sort of fold them up a little bit. And then that way it just holds everything in and really eliminates as much of the oozing as possible because since these apples are raw, a lot of the moisture from them as they cook are really going to start to ooze a little bit. So to get a little bit of our sweetness, we're going to do about a tablespoon of honey. Less if you don't want it to be as sweet. Drizzle it over the top and really just get it to really glaze and coat your apples. And a sprinkle of cinnamon. You can put as much or as little as you like. I don't want to do too much. I don't want it to overpower. So just a little sprinkle is good. And then we'll put this in our 350 degree oven, about 10, 15 minutes. You really want to see the edges of your tart really crisping up and turning golden brown. So if you need to put it in longer because you have a different kind of oven, by all means, less, same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven. Okay, so while that cooks in our oven, I actually have some that I've already prepared. They're a little bit on the smaller side, just sort of bite size in a way. Um, just little tartlets that I made here. You can finish them off by putting a little bit of apricot jam. Make sure when you're buying apricot jam to take a look at that label because some of them out there have that high fructose corn syrup stuff, you know, the not real ingredient that's not good for you. Get as natural of a jam as you possibly can. And apricot jam really just molds all this flavor together. So we have our little tartlets and you can add a little whipped cream if you feel indulgent, but if you're trying to cut those calories, this is the perfect way to go. Enjoy your sweet dessert. À votre santé.